What's up, everybody? This is Alex with WMD back at you again. This time we're going to be talking about Metron and using DinSync to clock your Metron externally. So I'm going to be using the Pioneer SP16 as my master clock source. And then I'm going to be using the Dofer MSY2 uh, MIDI to sync converter to get my MIDI clock into a DinSync um, signal. And that's what we're going to be clocking our Metron from. We're going to use this to play both instruments in sync. And then we're also going to run the modular into the sampler so we can do some live sampling that's all in sync, just making our workflow that much faster. All right, so as you can see, I've got my setup here. I've got my Pioneer SP16, my um, little modular here, and then I've got this handy Dofer MSY MIDI to sync converter. So what the MIDI to sync converter does is it takes our MIDI clock I'm just going MIDI out of the Pioneer into the MIDI in on the MSY2, and that takes our MIDI clock and turns it into DINSYNC. Now what's cool about DINSYNC is that it gives you a 24 PPQN clock, so a, uh, so a multiplied up clock. It's very fast, so we're going to need to divide the clock down on our Metron. I'll show you how to do that in a second. It's nice to have a fast clock like that because when you are changing tempos, it'll just make that transition a little bit smoother if you're trying to go from one tempo to another while still listening to the track or playing live or whatever you're doing. Um, DinSync gives you a clock signal, and then instead of a reset signal, it gives you a start set a start stop signal which is essentially just a gate so if the gate is high the sequencer will run so what we need to do is we need to go into Metron's global menu to set up uh, our sequencer to be ready for DINSYNC so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into global and we're already ready for the external clock and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna say PPQN settings we want that to be at 24 DINSYNC clock is 24 PPQN that's why we included that in there and now we're going to go to the next setting, which is reset behavior. So this is the reset input, and we're going to change this to sync. And now we're ready for din sync. So the clock will not run until it run until it gets a signal from the uh, din sync box here. So now all I got to do is press play on the SP16, and I've got this sequence going. So my kick drum's coming from here and my two little lines here. So I've got this bass line, and then I've got this synchrodyne line. And then all my other drums right now are coming out of the SP-16. So one of the cool things I've got going on is I do have my output just going directly from my modular into the SP-16, and then we're just listening to a mono signal out of the SP-16. And I can actually use my modular to make new samples, and that's one of the reasons why I've got it set up like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and just set this up to be a sampling uh, input. And we're going to press play. And this is just the SP16. So now I'm going to do the synchrodyne line. Let's make that sound cool. All right, there we go. And so one of the cool things about the SP16 is this uh, live sampling mode. So I can just hit shift and track. And now I'm ready to sample. So I can play my beat here and then just sample. And there's my sample. Now we'll go out of there. And let's see what my, there's my trigger signal for that guy. So we're just gonna take that, clear this pattern out. And now we can change that pattern. And I'm just going to switch it up a little bit on the fourth one. We can go into slices.
All right, there we go. So now I've got a sequence there. And I recorded that over my line input, so I'm just gonna go over here and get our line input back. Go to through. And now we can bring up our drums. Maybe. Oh, that guy's muted, right? Here we go. And we're still hearing this sample from that, so now we can go change our synchrodyne to do something else. Just listen to the sampler again. So yeah, super fun way to just get things going. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. V very simple video, very easy concept, but just something that I wanted to show because there are you know so many different ways to clock things out there, and um, we've had some questions about how to get the din sync or the sync. Uh, function of the reset input to work. So that's that. Like always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you want to see me do as far as demoing gear, just throw them in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Peace.